videos in a while, but I thought I would um, talk a little bit about whitening. It's a common question. We all were getting questions from friends and family over the holidays about whitening, so here it is. Um, I'm going to have three different products here that I'll show you from our office that we use, but people ask me, maybe the most common question is, should I use whitening toothpaste? Not really so much. Um, the analogy I use for a whitening toothpaste is, let's say that you have a, wa a white wall that's dirty. So if you want to get it looking more white again, you can scrub the dirt off there. That's kind of what a whitening toothpaste does. So if you've got a lot of stain from, let's say, tobacco, coffee, tea, those things that we all kind of depend on from day to day, um, they're staining your teeth. The whitening toothpaste can scrub some of that off. Um, it has particles in there that tend to be abrasive, so it can get the dirt off the wall, so to speak, but it's not going to make the wall any whiter, like if you were washing at home, if that makes sense. And also, in the process of cleaning the wall, you might scrub off a little bit of the paint, it might be a little damaging, and that's what whitening toothpaste can do too. They can be too abrasive, so the teeth themselves might be okay, but if you've got root exposure, it's too abrasive and it's too abrasive on your gums. It causes some sensitivity, so I really don't recommend whitening toothpaste. I've never ever had a patient say, I'm just having awesome results with whitening toothpaste. Sorry, it doesn't happen. Get the cheap toothpaste with no whitening and no tartar control um, to help control your sensitivity and just come and see us regularly to get the staining off. So how do you make the wall whiter, actually? You need something that's going to stay in the teeth. Um, something over the counter that does work is Crest White Strips. I've had some patients have luck with those. I think they're maybe 40 or $50. You can get them almost anywhere. Um, that same active ingredient in White Strips over the counter, we're going to use stronger in the office or send you home with. So there's three main ways that we whiten here. First one, cheapest option. Um, and many other dental offices may offer these. Just because this says Venus, this brand name, I'm not plugging it, just happens to be the one that I use at my office. There are other brands with the same ingredients that are gonna be just fine. This is a tray that you, um, I think it's a seven day kit. Yeah, I actually have this at home. I've only used one of the trays because I found it to be a little cumbersome. But they're, um, they're prefabricated, so one size fits all isn't always you know, it's not as good as a stocking cap, doesn't always work. Um, but if you can tolerate the kind of weird fit for the cheaper price, it can whiten some, just for everyday, maybe coffee use or something. It's a good way to see if you can tolerate the whitening. It does cause a little sensitivity. None of these products cause any damage to your teeth long term, but they can cause short term sensitivity. So the cheapest option for some minor staining is going to be a prefabricated tray of some type. Um, that we can sell to you, such as this one. Um, next step up is I would have you come in and take some impressions. This is in an, a model for Invisalign, um, but it's a similar concept. So if I were to take an impression of your teeth, then I get a really customized way to make a tray that's going to fit. This is actually an Invisalign um, retainer. Don't use this for whitening. This is just for illustrative purposes, okay? But I make a tray that's a little bit like this, but more flexible, and send you home with some bleach that you can place in the tray, snap it over your teeth, and it's just gonna sit on the teeth for maybe a half hour to an hour at a time, and it keeps it off the gums, because whitening materials, the gel can be, eh, it stings a little bit on the gums, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, you know, to get beautiful, it's a little bit painful. Um, but it's only short term, it heals up just fine. So that's actually going to make the wall whiter, so to speak. It doesn't damage you long term. This is uh, probably the most common thing that I do. I do it myself at home. Um, that's this little kit. The next step for people who really have some staining, you're just, since the teeth came in, they're dark, you know. Um, we used to historically see more tetracycline staining before we knew that giving tetracycline to kids was a problem. People really have some dark teeth, or maybe you're getting older, they're super dark. Um, again, not particularly plugging the core product, but it's a really great one. We chose it because it works so good. We're going to have some pictures on our uh, Facebook site, and I think our website, um, a really amazing result we did have with a patient with this system. So this is... Um, a little bit more time intensive too. We have to come to the office for a treatment that we do here 
then we'll send you home with some trays like this. Have you come back to the office and do an in-office treatment where you sit here with something pretty strong on the teeth where we protect your gums and treat you at the same time. Um, and with each strength of this, there's a risk of getting more sensitivity as we do the treatments, but again, that doesn't last forever. But the whiteness of the teeth lasts a really long time. The results from the core has really been striking. Um, when I came out of dental school almost 20 years ago now, um, we were told we really couldn't get whitening with deep staining, but we're finding out that's not true with the core system. It's pretty awesome. So um, if you have dental work done in the front, that stuff's not going to whiten. Like if you've got crowns or fillings, that can be an obstacle to overcome. But there's always a way. So if you have questions about whiter teeth, um, are you interested in any of our systems, give us a call or comment below. Thanks for watching.